Hello guys, Mr. Spluffy Pants here, and today guys another video, and today guys I'm reviewing the highly anticipated Lego Star Wars set for 2021, which is set number 75299 Turbo on Tatooine, 276 pieces, and retails for 30 bucks, uh, you know, based off uh, Season 2 Episode 1 of The Mandalorian, but uh, kind of weird, it comes in a $20 box size, you know, with punch tabs and all, but uh, for a $30 set, but... Um, you know, you got that white border with uh, the Mando up there. I kind of wish they would change up the border like they used to do back in the day with, like, the when the movies were all coming out. But, um, you know, whatever. Uh, you know, this was highly anticipated, and I must say, this set is uh, not as good as I th thought it was when it was first, like, leaked or revealed, I must say. But I still really like it, um... Because the only thing I was thinking, you know, people were excited to set for, of course, for Best Car Mando, which we're going to take a look at him. But, like, uh, you know, he's going to come out in, like, some of the summer sets, or at least I hope it, especially if they have any Mando summer sets, which they should, because, you know, there's that rumor for that $160 set, which better be Moff Gideon's, uh, you know, light cruiser or whatnot. But, uh, hang on, let me go and get his accessories off of, uh, you know, his bike or whatnot, which, you know, we'll take it a look in a minute. But, uh, you know, the... This thing that everybody's going to be getting, which is Best Car Mando, which he looks absolutely fantastic. That printing, the arm printing is nice and crisp. You even got, like, a little uh, mud horn symbol. Let me see if he'll focus. Hang on. Focus, please. I don't think it's going to focus, really. No, I think it's too shiny, but you can kind of see the mud horn symbol. You know, you got his little gauntlet on this side. You know, you've got his little whistling, whistling birds right there or whatnot. Love the leg printing. Pretty much all the printing on this guy's brand new, which is great. Here's the back printing. Uh, the only thing I wish is that they gave him one of the softer capes because it's kind of noisy to put him in the Razor Crest and uh, on this bike with that kind of cape. Um, my only complaint with this minifigure is honestly kind of the helmet. The helmet, I feel like uh, the the gun, dark gunmetal gray they were using on the other, you know, Mando figures work better, honestly. But, I mean, I can kind of get used to it. I don't know. It just kind of looks weird on Mando since I was used to, the, you know, the other minifigure or whatnot. But uh, he is very cool. You know, he, he gets his blaster pistol. Which, uh, you know, is that old, old piece right there. And, you know, you get his little build for his, uh, little cycler rifle or whatever it's called. But, um, also you get the child baby Yoda. Let me see if I can pull him out. Oh, just decapitated him. My bad. Oh, goodness. Baby Yoda went flying hell. You know, because his head is a soft rubber piece. But, you know, this is the same one you get with the other two Mando sets, uh, that, you know, he came in. Uh, I do think they kind of need a new mold for him. Uh, I feel like this was just kind of thrown together. Like, I don't know. Like, that one mold they used in the holiday special was pretty cool. But, you know, a little bit of printing, uh, you know, his face or whatnot. Uh, you know, if you haven't had him yet, this is the cheapest way to get him. So... And you also get a, you know, Tusken Raider, which, uh, you can say it's Boba Fett, uh, sure, why not, you know, you got the Gaffy sticker or whatnot, this is actually my first Tusken Raider, but, uh, pretty cool, I guess, I wish they included one more, or, you know, they should have just made the set, like, $50, included Cobb Vent Speeder and, um... Convent Speeder and, you know, Cobb Vent, that'd be pretty cool, but I feel like, uh, Lucasfilm didn't give, uh, uh, why ain't my camera focusing... There we go. Uh, but I feel like they should just gave, uh, you know, put Cobb Van, uh, but I feel like Lucasfilm didn't give, uh, you know, Lego the, uh, uh, concept art for that yet, so I guess that's kind of explainable, but still have been really cool, or, you know, they should just delay this to a summer set so they could put that in there, but, uh, first of all, the, my favorite build of the set is the little speeder bike, which looks very cool. I love the look of this thing. Uh, a very unique build, I must say, but I do like it. You know, you got, uh, like the little satchel to hold Baby Yoda right here. Hang on, my camera's having a hard time focusing today. There we go. Um, you know, you got a little satchel to hold Baby Yoda. You know, you got a little backpack, which I'm sure has Cobb Vance armor in it. Sure, because why not? Uh, you know, you got some uh, little groobling down here, which looks pretty cool. Uh, this right here can go up and down. Uh, that's more just the build for it. This right here can adjust, but that's supposed to, you know, sit flat on the ground like that. So, you know, so when it's flying, it's kind of level like that. Uh, you know, you sent Mando right there. You got some clips for his uh, accessories right there. Some little handles. Uh, you know, just a basic little speeder bike. You can actually fit this in the Razor Crest, which I might show that later, but... That's pretty cool. Uh, the build, I feel like they could have done without the set. They could have either just let this out entirely made this a $20 set. Or they could have, you know, just not included this ballista and put it more into the Tusken Raider shack, I feel like. Because, uh, I don't know, the ballista, I just don't feel like it's that important of a build or whatnot. But, uh, I kind of like this front rolling wheel right here. You know, it doesn't really roll too well. But, kind of cool. You know, you got clear brick. Um... 
Got a little legs to hold it up back here. You know, I guess this is where you wind the ballista up. You know, you got a little, I guess that's where you control it at or whatnot. Um, you know, I do, I do kind of like these, uh, you know, the actual like string, I guess, for saying. You know, you got the two crossbow kind of things. You know, this is a ballista, but, uh, you know, you even got a little spring loaded shooter right there. And let's see, that went over here. And. Uh, uh, which is kind of cool. This is actually a silver, which I don't know if we ever got it in that color before. That's still pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, I just feel like, I don't know. I just don't really think this build's necessary, honestly. But, um, and then the Tuscan Raider shack, you know, like I said, could have had more gone into it. And we could have used the pieces from that and put them into this. But it's pretty cool. You know, you get a little campfire right there. Uh, you can hold his gaffy stick with that right there, I guess. Um, you can actually unfold this if you want, you know, get a closer look in it. Looks like maybe you have like a little watering bowl or a toilet or something. Uh, over here, you know, you got a little pot where he was eating some food at. Uh, you know, all this kind of folds in or whatnot. You know, there's not much here. I wish they added more detail inside of it. Here's the outside, but... Yeah, like I said, not very much included there, but I feel like most people are going to be getting the set for Best Car Mando, and I feel like, uh, you know, he's definitely going to come in some of the summer sets if, you know, we are getting Mando uh, summer sets, so I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like, um, you know, it's not really worth getting the set just for him, even though, you know, I did, but... I mean, that's just me personally, but, uh, I just feel like, you know, like I said, we're gonna get some, uh, him in the summer set, so I feel like you should just wait if you really want the main figure, especially if we're getting, like, a Mafia Indians cruiser, but also in the instruction manual, you get some, uh, you know, some ads for the other summer, or, I mean, sorry, the winter 2021 sets, which I haven't really gave my thoughts on. I really like the TIE Fighter for 40. I'm thinking about getting that, but Imperial Shuttle looks cool, too. Uh, do not like the X-Wing, though. I can definitely tell you that. Because, uh, you know, the Pearl of Fire, I think it comes with some pretty cool minifigures. But, uh, you know, kind of uh, uh, looking forward to seeing what kind of Mando summer sets we get. But, um, anyway, guys, let me know what you guys think about the set down below. Do you guys agree with my opinions on the set? You know, I feel like you know, the hype was kind of behind the set. But, um, you know, I still think it's a pretty good set. For 30 eh, a little, it's a little on the expensive side for what you actually get, but maybe 25 or 20, 20 would have been the perfect price, honestly, but, you know, since it's Star Wars, you got to pay that fee for, you know, it being licensed or whatnot, but, um, anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts down below, uh, check out my Twitter and Discord, link in the description, like and subscribe for more, check out some of their videos, and I'll see you guys later, bye!